Look like I'm going for a swim. Dunk on them, now I'm swinging off the rim. Hold it. Got the dumb pee, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You want a deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara Brianne here with some different content for you guys. Meet my mommy, okay? Today, I will be doing my mom's hair. She wanted some locks, and I'm super excited to show you guys how I do somebody else's hair, okay? So, let's get into it. She is freshly washed, and I just blow-dried her hair, put some product in it, and I'm going to show y'all all the tools that you need. So, here I got this little stand for um, holding my hair from Amazon, and I have the 3X Free Trust Braiding Hair in natural texture I believe it was 28 inches I only used one pack of that and then as far as her lock hair she wanted two different colors I believe these are the Jamaican yeah the Jamaican twist brand I got it in 1B and 613 I think I used about three packs of black hair and I didn't even go through this whole thing of blonde um so yeah let's get started okay First, I will be starting off by parting her hair with this parting comb. This is a lifesaver, I promise you. And I'm going to start by doing individual braids all over her hair. Um, this is going to create the thickness that we need for the lock. So also, if I didn't already tell y'all, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, honey. Turn on your push notifications and follow me on social media because I do post there outside of YouTube. So yeah, when my mom was telling me what type of style she wanted, she kept saying, I want my locks to be like a finger like thickness so yeah I don't know what she meant by that but to make sure that the locks have some thickness so you know they won't be too like skinny I'm going to be doing some individual braids first all over her head super easy and self-explanatory if you know how to braid you're good but basically once you have your part together I'm gonna show y'all how I start the braid off to make sure that it's going to stay really tight to her scalp. Um, I'm not doing them like knotless braids. I'm doing them like regular individual braids. So yeah, I'm just going to let y'all watch that part of the process. Jumping in right quick to show you guys how I start these off. You're going to want to part your hair or your client's hair in three sections. And then you're going to want to get the braiding hair. I'm going to separate a very small part. Also, this is the thickness of the hair that I'm going to be using. I'm going to separate a small part and I'm going to fold that over the other side. So small part, big part. You're going to fold the small part over to create an equal amount of size of the braiding hair, girl. And you're going to hold it like this, okay? You have three different strands. You're going to match those three strands up with the three sections that you parted from your client's hair or your own hair. And you're just going to lay them on top of each other like so like this please do not focus on my face and how focused i am and then you're just going to regularly braid um i'm going to show you guys a closer clip in just a second so please bear with me but yeah it's super easy to do once you get the hang of it you want to make sure that you're using a lot of shine and jam to separate your parts and yeah it's super easy to braid you guys once you get the hang of it like i said <laughs>
Are you on your way? Are you coming soon to me? No parking in the way. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. Is my secret safe? Safe with just you and me. We can't leave a trace. This is my favorite mistake. Okay, on to the fun part. So here I taught myself how to do a couple of the locks just to get myself back in a groove. And here are all of the braids. Please don't ask me how many braids and how many locks she got, y'all, because she got a lot, okay? She wanted the look to be very full, very natural looking. So I do not know. I did not count and I will not be counting, okay? Um, so right now I am getting ready to crochet the hair. Um, I found it very easy to crochet a lot of pieces first and then go back and wrap them up. So I would suggest that you braid all of your hair in individual braids and then, you know, put the crochet hair all through the braids and then go back and lock them up. Um, so yeah. Also, let me talk about this blonde hair that you see me adding into her hair right now. I hate it. Okay, the 613 had a completely different texture than the 1B. It was dry. It was brittle. It kept breaking off. Um, I didn't like it, okay? The hairs were also shorter. So, like, the blonde locks were shorter. But anyways, once you put the crochet hair into the braid, you're going to want to pull it all the way on one side so the part that you're wrapping is super long. And you're simply going to wrap around the braid nice and tightly spread out the hair in a second you're going to see me feather the hair out that is very important when doing any type of locks because that's what makes sure that your locks don't unravel so you see right now i'm feathering it out with my hands and i'm going to use my thumb to kind of stretch out the hair you see what i'm doing like stretch out the hair so it lays around the braid flat so you can overlap the hair so it doesn't unravel okay that's the only tip i can really give you when it comes to like making sure your lock don't unravel i'm also going to show you how i end my lock i don't end my locks like normal people because i don't know i just do whatever feels easy for me so yeah okay i'm gonna show you in a second but basically 
I cut the ends of the braid simply because it was making the hair tangle. But all you're gonna do is take the wrapping hair and wrap it around the braid after you fold it up. You see how the hair is sticking out at the top? I folded up the braid and now I'm just wrapping the hair around the braid. I'm gonna cut off the excess so I don't have to worry about that sticking out of the lock bed. It's not cute. And then you're just going to continue wrapping the hair upwards, okay? Whenever you end lock, you want to always wrap the hair upwards because that's what's going to like lock it in place. To make sure she has a ton of security with her locks, I'm also going to be putting in a knot right now. So I just take that locking hair, wrap it around, put it in a knot, and continue to wrap upwards. And then I'm going to palm roll it to make sure that it does not come out. In the end, I will also be um, burning the ends and palm rolling them once again just because this hair kind of didn't want to stay in place. I've done a lot of locks on my channel and I have a lot of tutorials and this was the first time that I used a Jamaican braiding hair. It is super duper soft, so I love that, except for that blonde hair, like I said. But the black hair is super duper soft and easy to like work with, you know, it don't like scratch your fingers because you know some hair be real rough. But this hair didn't like really lock well, if that makes sense. So yeah, now I'm gonna get into some like frequently asked questions or whatever. So like I said, I only use one pack of the free dress braiding hair in the natural texture. You know, the regular connect along here. And I used three packs of the black Jamaican twist hair. And I didn't even use one full pack of the blonde hair because like I said, I didn't like it. Um, this took me two days to do. Okay, because my mom wanted to start late in the day. She had me start her hair around like four o'clock, y'all. Why would she have me do that? So we was up from, from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Not even going to cap. And um, in that time, I was able to do all her individual braids. And I did the perimeter of her locks. So she wore a bun to work to hide the braids in the middle. And then when she came back from work, I finished the braids in the middle. But yeah, she loves her hair, you guys. And this was my first time doing someone else's hair and filming it for y'all. So I hope y'all enjoy this type of content. If you're wondering, I do not do people hair yet, but I will be soon. Okay, maybe in the next upcoming months. If you want to book with sir. But yeah, y'all feel like I've been wrapping y'all heads off or whatnot. So just know that I went ahead and did these locks all over her head and now here is a clip please disregard my stepsister i mean please disregard my sister in the back but i'm going to be spraying some shine on spray to make sure that her hair is nice and shiny and will oil and moisturize and when i also moisturize her scalp and these are the locks you guys like i said please disregard everything you see in the back y'all see how fat the blonde ones was oh that hair just really threw me off but anyways this is her style, y'all. They look nice and full and natural. I love them. She's so cute. Hopefully, she let me take more pictures of her so y'all can see the final result. But, yeah, um, I thank y'all so much for tuning in, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, mamas. Mwah. Hold it, got the dumb pee, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.